Hello my dears, here's Olya and my blog about Ukraine and today I'm making a video about jobs in Ukraine. You asked me about this a lot of time and finally I decided to make this video. In this video I will tell you about law in Ukraine according to work, about salaries, about working websites where you want, where you can find a job and about which job it's easier to find in Ukraine. So if you're interested stay with me. Uh, at first I want to say why I don't make this video for a long time because you ask me a lot of questions that don't have one answer so I really don't know what to answer you on a lot of questions because everything is very different. So uh, the first one about law because I think it's the most important. Uh, so if you are foreigners and probably you are a foreigner, uh, you, to work in Ukraine you need to have special permission. You need to have a working visa uh, to work in Ukraine. How you can receive it? Uh, you need to receive this, uh, you need to receive a, um, <laughs> invitation from your employer. And your employer uh, needs to decide to uh, give you this job offer and then he need to go to the department of unemployment uh, say that he can't find this uh, such a good specialist in Ukraine and they need to agree uh, with employer and give him permission that he can hire someone from abroad and he will send you invitation you will receive work in visa e and you will work um, in Ukraine with no problem. Uh, if you come to Ukraine as a student you don't have right to work in any case. So if you want to, if you are a student and you want to work, if you are a foreign student you need to return to home, change your visa from student's visa to working visa and then you can legally work in Ukraine. That's only one way because of course Ukraine is interested that Ukrainians work in Ukrainian citizen not Ukrainians by nation, uh, working in Ukraine in their own country. It was short uh, tips about law. Now about working websites, I think it's the most important. So where to find employers who can send you invitation and where to find job general in Ukraine. Um, I will give you three websites. I think they are the best in Ukraine and all Ukrainians use these websites for looking for a job. In these websites most job offers is in Ukrainian or in Russian language and it's logical because to work in Ukraine you need to know Ukrainian or at least Russian language. But I want to say uh, even in spite of the fact that uh, all Ukrainians understand Russian and Russian language is very... Uh, a lot of people speak in Russian in Ukraine. Anyway, you need to know Ukrainian language for work. At first, because uh, all documents is in Ukrainian language and uh, some instructions is in Ukrainian language. If you deal with some uh, maybe uh, with law you also need to read this law. It's also in Ukrainian language. Some rules is in Ukrainian language. So there is a lot of job where you really need to know Ukrainian language. Uh, but at least I think if you don't deal if you deal with people you need to know Ukrainian 100%. And if you deal with documents you also need to know Ukrainian 100%. If you don't deal with any of this like with documents, know with people, just with yourself maybe with some techniques, you just need to know at least uh, Russian to speak with people to understand uh, what is your goals and uh, uh, what's your task and what you need to do. But in this website that I give you, there is also job offers in English. It means that uh, this uh, organization, they want to find a person who exactly know English or uh, even native English speaker. There is a lot of uh, this. Uh, maybe not only English speaker, maybe native Arabian speaker or maybe native some other other Slavic language speaker. It also happens sometimes. So you need to read these job offers and in that case you don't need to know Ukrainian even uh, or Russian language to work in Ukraine. So it's also possible if it's only in Russian Ukrainian probably you need to know at least one of these two languages. 
and see if it's in English you can try you can apply for this job and maybe uh, you will be pretty successful on it so I left on the description uh, under this video these three websites it's work UI Rabota UI and Headhunter UI very very great very interesting websites and uh, mostly Ukrainians use them to find normal job in Ukraine we don't use use newspaper uh, it was about job um, about uh, um, salary um, question about salary is very very hard and complicated because salary depends so much of your city where you want to work and of type of organization state or private and also of organization by itself uh, for example the same work in uh, Kiev will uh, will have uh, like um, you will have for the same work in Kiev probably twi twice time more than in other region of Ukraine but at the same time if you need to rent apartment rent apartment is also twice expensive in Kiev than in other part of Ukraine so like you make more money but you spend more money so um, it's really hard to say if it's better to work in Kiev or it's better to work in some um, like uh, smaller city, receive smaller money but spend uh, not so much. So you need to think about it also. Uh, anyway, uh, also type of organization, how it depends on salary. For example, you are a nurse and you can be a nurse in state hospital and you will probably receive fifty dollars <laughs> per month really uh, their salary is very very low all uh, salaries in all state organizations is very low probably the minimal salary because um, all this organization they financed by government and of course our government don't give you a lot of money yes that's true that's Ukraine that's what we really have but you can be nurse at the same time in private hospital and in private hospital instead of fifty dollars you can receive five hundred dollars per month and there is very big difference because if you are if you work in private hospital people finance you by their pocket and if you are for example private hospital is very very successful you can receive even one thousand so you have a lot of clients and you have very good price you have a lot of people you understand how works organization if organization is very successful so all people who work in this organization they receive like a lot of money and if you work even in private organization but your organization today leave tomorrow will maybe probably die so these people don't have a lot of money and uh, their salary is not much more than in state uh, establishments so it's very very different uh, average salary in ukrainian is kind of four thousand grievances i think but as i said a lot of people maybe a really big part of population and they work in the state establishments and their salary is very very low at the same time there are like other not so big percent of people and they work in a private organization and their salary is very very high and that's why average salary don't say you anything it's not real salary which all person uh, receive also you can be a sales manager or something like that and you can receive percent of salaries so who can answer how much you can earn it only depends on you so you can be very successful manager and have so much money or you can can't say uh, sell anything and you will receive just a little like uh, your little wage uh, which they give you and probably some little percent so it also depends on you and i know that people who have pretty good salary in ukraine uh, most of them uh, not part of them but maybe half of them are really some sales managers they are representative of some trademarks or something else and uh, only of their skill depends how much they can earn and they earn pretty good money if they are really good managers uh, also you can work in international organization in ukraine we have also a lot of represent representatives and their salary also is bigger than salary of ukrainian company but not always not always 
So it was short about salary, probably you don't understand anything, but I hope you understand my line, what I told you about it. Everything depends from type of uh, work, where you do work, of course, of your occupation, experience and successful of uh, enterprise where you work. Um, now about if it's easy to find job in Ukraine. I personally, me don't don't looking for a job, so I can't say from my experience. But I can say I ask some of my friends; they are already looking for a better job, and they said that there is not problem to find job in Ukraine. There is problem if you want uh, some special condition or you want. Um, find with high salary or something else so there can be problem not problem but you need some time to find job which you want but if you just uh, are like out of money and you need any job just to get some money there is not problem to find it yeah you can find and receive probably 200 2000 grivnas 2000 and a half um, it's not problem in my city. So I live in Khmelnytsky, it's regional center, it's not capital and it's not problem to find a job with this price. Of course, this price, this salary is not high, but everything of course depends on the person. <laughs> Maybe you can accustom for every amount, uh, any amount of money if you have. So probably it was all question that I want to tell you about jobs in Ukraine. Uh, which jobs is the most popular? You know Ukrainians have 48 million in a population and we have any job. You can clean house, you can work as a builder, you can work as an engineer, you can work as a top manager and we have huge proposal of all of this and when you ask me uh, which job I can find in Ukraine. You can find any job in Ukraine, really. It depends what you want. If you want to work in a constructions, there is no problem to find a job, really. You come today and receive today a job and you work as a cons in construction sphere, you do some non-qualified job and make some money. 